Back to the daily grind and y'all know we gotta talk about this, but before we do make sure you hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is, it's full time. MMA. The lioness Amanda Nunes. I don't even know if I can call her the lioness in this video because now she's talking about going down to 125 pounds and if we've all been keeping up on the Amanda Nunes versus Chris Cyborg scenario where Amanda Nunes has talked about going up to 145 pounds and potentially challenging Chris Cyborg for the featherweight title but now that Amanda Nunes has a couple of contenders you know in Raquel Pennington and Caitlin Vieira she is completely changing her tune not keeping the same energy and now in a new interview she has went as far as to mention going down to 125 pounds and challenging for the title this is a completely new turn. I have never heard of Amanda Nunes mentioning fighting at 125 pounds before, and this is just not the time. Uh, this is not the time. Not after you done already talked up the whole game about wanting to fight Cyborg and gave us all 12 reasons you want to fight. Cyborg said, listen, I don't want to beat up a fellow Brazilian. Listen, I want to fight a legit 145 pounder. And Amanda Nunes was barking like, no, I don't, it's nothing personal, nothing against Brazil. I want to fight Cyborg. This is the time. And now that Cyborg is ready, now that Cyborg is free. Here we go again another chick that's talking about they want to fight cyborg and I thought Amanda Nunes was a different case because I think it is still fair to mention Amanda Nunes is the most talented fighter as far as skill level is concerned Chris Cyborg will have ever faced I mean she's been fighting a lot of other bantamweights from other divisions and even in the UFC but she hasn't Chris Cyborg has not fought a UFC bantamweight champion yet and Amanda Nunes makes so much more. The Cyborg Nunes fight is just so much better because think about it. Chris Cyborg has now beat Holly Holm, who has a win over Ronda Rousey. You know how long there was talks of Ronda Rousey versus Cyborg, but it never happened. Ronda Rousey's now in the WWE. So one thing that Chris Cyborg would be able to do is at least beat the two chicks that beat Ronda Rousey if she got a win over Amanda Nunes. So the fight just makes so much sense as far as I'm concerned. And Amanda Nunes did her part in selling the fucking fight to me. And now we're talking about 125 pounds. Oh, no, 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 no. That's just not going to happen on my watch. I will not advocate Amanda Nunes going down. But this is what she had to say. Right now, I'm really focused. And, and first, before she said what I'm about to read, she also mentioned that she's not interested in a Valentina Shevchenko rematch. She said I already beat her twice, essentially. Um, and so people still want to see... Valentina Shevchenko fight Amanda Nunes again because some people believe that Valentina Shevchenko won both fights even though I will say this I do believe Amanda Nunes won the second fight as well um, just because the fifth round a lot of people expected Amanda Nunes to get tired she was the champion and you know what they say in order to be the champion you have to beat the champion uh, you don't leave it in the you know the judges scorecards and also if you expect someone to get tired in the in later rounds of the fight and they win the fifth round that's big. So I do believe Amanda Nunes won that rematch. But as, as far as going down to 125 pounds, I mean, we've got a situation down there. We know Valentina Shevchenko, who's already fought Amanda Nunes twice, is on her way to a title shot. So now, even though Amanda Nunes isn't super interested in the Valentina Shevchenko rematch, if Valentina Shevchenko becomes the 125 pound champion, and you know, maybe that's what people will want to see champion versus but see in my I, I, i'm not super hyped on the shevchenko nunes fight and honestly i'm done talking about it because i don't want to talk about amanda nunes at 125 pounds fuck that dead all that talk amanda nunes no more of this i mean this is very interesting just because it, it, it threw me off guard seeing her say this but this just is not you know the same energy of wanting to fight cyborg so with that being said that's all i gotta say on this video just real quick, I wanted to let you guys know because I've been doing a lot of work on the channel, but not in making videos today, you know, getting the whole Patreon thing set up. Um, I just wanted to address my boy, George Costanza, in the comments. He said, yo, bro, you know, I can't believe you're going to Patreon. I planned on donating $20 every few months, but now I think I'm good. And, you know, I, I don't got a problem with that, bro. I'm still going to put a lot of free content out on YouTube, a lot of free. And honestly, with what, if you're somebody with that mindset, 
I'm making more content for you. If, if you just think about it like this, you, you said you were gonna donate $20 every few months. Now listen, I don't ask for donations, but if you were planning on doing that, this is the exact same thing. If you subscribed for $4.99 per month, that's $20 every four months. That's $20 every few months like you said. And what it does is I'm gonna, you're getting more stuff because I'm not only doing main card predictions, I'm gonna do Fox Sports 1 predictions, I'm gonna do Fight Pass prelim predictions on top of everything else. So you're getting more content for what you were already gonna be doing. But at the same time, if you don't wanna do that, if you don't wanna commit, I, I, that's all good too man I, I understand the fucking struggle is real so I'm still gonna grind 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 like I've been doing and put out free content I'm gonna focus on YouTube over Patreon I'm still gonna have the extra stuff on Patreon every day but I'm just gonna put out content on both channels every day the most popular important MMA topics I'll probably do on YouTube and the most nitty gritty interesting stuff that we you know that probably isn't as popular to the casuals I'll probably do on Patreon but either way thanks for checking out the YouTube if you're still gonna check that out this is Amanda Nunes interested in going down to 125 pounds I'll fuck with y'all tomorrow I've been up all day and I just had to get some MMA news out to you guys aside from all of the other changes and by the way let me know what you think about the red layout I seen a look there was, it was a close vote as far as are we gonna go stay blue or go red I seen there was a lot of blues there was a slightly more red so I'm open to either one some people said both let me know what you guys think if this looks good to you I honestly like the red I think it stands out more but hey let me know I want you guys' opinion let the full-time family know what you think in the comments and as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. Da -da 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 -da. It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G.